What's going on YouTube? It's Roller89 here. Haven't been doing too many videos lately. Um, I was a little bit under the weather. I had a cold or something with a terrible cough and sneezing and runny nose and all that. But I'm feeling a little better now so I'm going to do this video here for you today. Also, I haven't really done any trail videos because the weather outside wasn't, you know, permitting to it. But um, today's video, what I'm going to be going over is some stuff I've done to my trucks. What's different? Um, the little bit of things I have done to them. It's nothing too fancy, nothing too dramatic, but let's get right into it. Alright guys, so for starters, we're going to start off today with my bomber. Um, if you watch my videos and you've watched the first video with the bomber, you remember it was blue. I went ahead and uh, vinyl wrapped it. It's like purpley pink. It's color changing from purple to pink to a little bit of blue over here. I mean, it's all over, but it really depends on the lighting, and you'll see it better in the lighting. That's only really all I did to the bomber. I haven't done anything performance wise. I just kind of wrapped it with the vinyl. Um, I put some stickers, some decals here, um, up here. If I turn it for you, I did my YouTube here. It's kind of hard to make out on the camera. Um, another thing you'll notice right away is the lettering on the wheels. I went ahead and painted. I did white for the leather lettering. Sorry, guys. So that it would stand out. I did a little purple ring and then purple in the center. I painted for the rims just to kind of give it a little, you know, nice look to it. I have it on this stand here to rotate it. You can see I did all the tires, every single one. I even did the spare, which is right here for you guys to see, right here. Um, other than that, I also did the YouTube on this side. Other than that, I really didn't do anything to the bomber. Um, I actually had, if I go ahead and grab it here, the battery, that's not it, this one here, for the bomber. I guess the last time I happened to take her out, I don't know if you're going to see it on camera pretty well. I guess you can. You can see it right there. You can see it's got some sort of a crack or something. Um, I must have clipped it or hit it when I was bashing her, I don't know. So, I don't really want to charge this battery inside, but I'm gonna probably keep it and charge it outside and see what happens. If it blows up, I'll pick up another one. I still have another LiPo, so it's not the end of the world. But, um, that's really it with the bomber, guys. So let's move on to the next truck. Next up here, guys, is the Gen 8. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but I did get some new rubbers for her as funny as that sounds I got the Pitbull Rock Beast which you can see from the sticker here I put on that they're legit Pitbulls not something knockoff I ordered online I did all five and why I say five is because I did do the spare I actually painted them I did um, blue lettering for the Rock Beast and then Pitbull here um, if I turn her you can see I did these tires as well, black rims. I think it gives it a whole nicer look. Um, if I spin her around this way, you can see I've done them all. If we keep going, let me fix my little mirror here, guys. If I keep going, you can see I also did a new front bumper. This bumper here is metal. It, um, I'm not sure what the make is. I don't know if it's from RC Four Wheel Drive or whatever. But I had to. Uh, I got them pretty freaking tight now. They're hard to get off. But uh, I've got the tow hook still here and here. They're a little bent right now from my last bash, which that one actually is not too bad. So you can see it right there. You can see this one here and that one. This one's actually pretty free. This one's pretty tight, so it's hard to move. 
Um, I'm not sure what the bumper is, but it is metal, and it's a lot stronger than was what was on here. My brother actually had the issue where his broke on the left here, his plastic stock one. Um, I put that away in my parts, so I don't have it at the moment. But um, what I've changed on the Gen 8 was pretty much just the tires, the bumper. I had to redo the hooks. They're a little banged up and beat up from abuse. That's what happens. Uh, one other thing I did add right here that you don't see on them is... This is a running light on the side here. Um, let me grab it here. What I actually picked up was this bag here. It's a light bucket kit made by Axial. I got it at my local hobby shop. I took some of the light buckets and, uh, you know, broke them off, made them or whatever, and I incorporated them right here. And there's one on the other side as well. So these are now running lights when the lights are plugged in. Um, but this is 20 bucks at my hobby shop. So this was definitely well worth the 20 bucks. All little accessories and stuff that come with it. Um, that's pretty much it for the Gen 8. Um, nothing performance wise. A lot of my things have been really visual. When we get to the Toyota, I did do something performance wise. It's not the greatest performance, but um, we'll get to that in a second here. So let me uh, put this grill back switch it out and we'll be right back so as far as the Toyota guys um, you've seen her you've seen her run uh, you remember a lot of stuff here with her light bar brush guard all that um, what I've done actually if we turn her here real quick bear with me this stand doesn't really like the Toyota's chassis so it's sliding all over the place but we're gonna try the best um, I went ahead and lowered the body a couple inches, give it more of a scale look. It's still kind of high. Um, I don't think I'm going to lower her any more than I already have. I did replace two of the swampers, but also I did paint them white. As you can see, just kind of like the bomber. Um, so, see, there goes the stand. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. So, I did put a new back one new swamper these are super swamper TSL SX I got them at my hobby shop as well if I spin her around a little more if the stand will work with me um, same stock bumper for the Gen 7 um, that I threw on here when I did the frame here is the other new super swamper sliding off the stand again guys and then the two front ones are older so if you give me a second here, I'll pop this body off and show you what else is new other than some stickers, tires, and the paint. So give me one second, guys. Alright, guys. So we're back. And if I turn her this way, lift her up a little, get her a little closer to the camera. What's new here is a Titan 12-turn motor by Traxxas. I did originally have the 27 in here. I put the 12 because my brother has a 12 in his. I liked how fast and quick his was. And he still had a lot of crawlability. So I also, with my radio, if I go ahead and grab that here. With my radio, guys, um, the STX-2, I have this little... Here, let's get a little closer. This little knob here, I don't know if you guys can make that out, 50%, 75%, and 100%. I can push that, and I can do 50%, which will give me less speed. and Not that it will give me more torque, but it will be a little slower, so it's not so much wheel speed disrupting my crawlability. So I'm hoping that helps me out. I mean, you know, it could fuck me it could not you know excuse my language but we'll see what happens so I have 50 middle here 75 percent and then obviously click it over it's a hundred percent so I'm gonna run this for a little while we'll see how that works out um, that's pretty much the only thing different in the Toyota was the uh, motor here the 12 turn I 
could have did a video of when I was putting it in, but it was a late night and I was still middle of my sickness, so I really didn't want to be bothered. Other than that, guys, there's not anything new to report, I don't think. Um, the only last thing I wanted to talk about was, let me grab here, were these little uh, paint kits. I actually got these at Walmart. Here's one, two, three, and then this is a copy of this bottom one here. Um, I've got them on my shelf here. They actually come, I've got two kits I picked up at Walmart. They actually come with this little brush that's actually helped me out with painting. Um, if I pop this little cover off, you can see it's pretty small, guys. It's pretty nice. It helps when you're painting the little stuff here. you got to be tedious. And I don't have the steadiest hand, so it doesn't work out as well as I like it to but it does work out so I do enjoy it um, you know I'm gonna be doing some trail videos soon tonight actually is um, a snowstorm so I don't know when I'm gonna get out to do it I'm gonna be super busy with that um, but I hope you guys keep watching keep enjoying my videos um, eventually sometime soon let me flip this girl over I do and there she goes I do want to get the drive shafts um, I do want to upgrade if we flip this again right here I do want to upgrade the spur and the pinion and do something with this transmission maybe get a better one something more performance wise we'll see what happens with that um, but other than that, guys, there's nothing new. The only other thing I did paint, actually, this, you gotta let me know, guys, what you think. This is actually gonna get mounted on the bomber. I actually painted this. Ooh, ooh, it's kind of creepy. I know. Um, I did paint this specifically for the bomber. It's purple and flat black. It's kind of nice looking. Um, I'm gonna find somewhere to mount that actually if you give me a second guys I'll put this back and I will show you where I'm thinking about putting that on the bomber so we're back guys with the bomber um, I was talking about this skull a second ago I'm thinking somewhere in here if I could get that to stay somewhere there I don't know if how well you guys can see this right here um, maybe on the back side if I didn't drop it maybe in here somewhere you know um, I'm not really sure I was also thinking maybe on the roof but then when I flip it could get crushed and destroyed it's not very hard it's like thin plastic um, maybe like right here too would be kinda cool then again there's the whole flipping thing which is why I was originally thinking like if I shove it in there like so if I shove it in there I mean I'm not sure it kind of looks cool I kind of like the look of it in there we'll see um, if I do anything with this I don't know I'll let you guys know I'll keep you updated but that's been it pretty much for today's video guys um, I know it's not the most exciting video I know you guys prefer the trail video so I'm gonna go ahead and huck that stand to the side it's just kind of messing everything up but um thanks for watching please subscribe give this video a like if you enjoyed it till the next time guys roller 89 peace